I'm sorry for asking you here like this. Oh no, it isn't a problem. I actually find it refreshing to be asked to the student council room. Although it's somewhat nerve-wracking as well. I think I'm a bit nervous myself. Anyway, um... I wanted to apologize. I'm really sorry for everything. What do you mean? You know, how I blamed you for Kamoshida's sexual harassment? Well, I wanted to apologize for that. I've honestly been meaning to this whole time. To Kamaki-san. I realized later that Shiho was calling out for me, and I wasn't there to help her. I didn't want to admit my own guilt, so I took it out on you, Nijima-senpai. I'm... very sorry. Hey, there is no need for that. In fact, I think the two of us are pretty similar. Huh? I was unable to save anyone. Not Suzui-san, and not any of Kaneshiro's victims. I kept telling myself I wasn't at fault because I was simply following orders. But that was all a lie. I felt like I would be admitting my own worthlessness had I not shifted the blame off of myself. Fear of that worthlessness was probably why I acted so harshly toward you and your friends. I'm deeply sorry as well. I see. In that case, wanna call it even? Even? You're right. How about we leave this conversation in the past? Mm-hmm. Oh, but one more thing. You're not worthless, Nijima-senpai. You were a bit reckless, but you're the reason we found a way into Kaneshiro's palace. And you even obtained the power to change people's hearts. You did that all yourself, Nijima-senpai. <laughs> that way of thinking is very much like you, Takamaki-san. When you confronted me about Suzui-san, I realized how dishonest and small I was. You're always very direct. That's what helped me finally realize the error of my ways. It turns out I'm a little slow on the uptake at times. Hey, can I call you on? Um, yeah! I... I'm going to do the same. M M Makoto... Ah, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> How about we get something to eat before we go home for the night? Oh, I know a place. There's a crepe shop at Central Street that totally stuffs their crepes. Do you want to split one? Mmm, let's each get a whole one and then we can go half and half on those. Oh, yes, let's. After school today, right? Are you listening? Pay attention!
Okay. Please head to the exam room. I guess. Search 
Imagine all along Can face in twilight and on and on Without the crew Without a sign Without grasping it The real question to be asked Where have I been? I'm a chef chef too Apples masquerade Hide in both face and mind All free for you to draw When your position changes, your view of the world changes too. It's a shift in cognition. In any case, we're in big trouble if we can't change Kaneshiro's heart. Let's do this.
I know what you're talking about. Morning. I've been thinking a lot about personas and palaces since yesterday. That floating bank really reflects Kanashiro's personality. He's flying around so no one can trace his steps. He doesn't trust anyone. I bet security's tightened there too. That's why we should get moving soon. Why don't we go to the palace today? I'll leave my schedule open after school, so we should all get together. up with a super cool idea. Lady On will surely swoon for me if I... Sorry for the wait. So what's up, Morgana? From what? Well... It's something I've been giving a lot of thought lately. Now that we've all gained some experience in battle, I think it'd be good for us to work on our finishers. Our finishers? Yeah, I guess if we're going to keep fighting, we ought to do it with style. Right, right? So I came up with just the idea. It's maybe my best one yet, and we can definitely pull it off if you play a part in it, Lady On. Me? Well, okay. What do you need me to do? Now that's our lady on. Quick on the uptake. What I had in mind was... And that should do the trick. Really? So is that a no? Well, it's not that I don't want to. It's more like, isn't your idea sorta impossible, even in the metaverse? Huh? What was that? Sup? Never imagined that I would end up helping the Phantom Thieves. Things would get interesting if my sister ever found out. There's no time to be getting sentimental here. Yes, I understand. I do have one request about all of this, though. Can you teach me how to be a Phantom Thief? Like, about the Metaverse, for example? Simply put, that world is formed of a person's cognition. 
There you can change people's hearts. Yeah, I've gathered that much just from going there once. But the method of transportation still eludes me. I mean, it's a smartphone navigation app. You only need a name, a location, and a distortion. After the first entry, the palace is bookmarked. You really just make it sound like an ordinary app. Aren't there any dangers associated with it? Don't worry about that. We've already been a bunch of times and... That's not what I mean. It's a navigation app, right? Couldn't someone easily access our history on the server? Wait, why are you looking at me like that? Has nobody thought of this before? I... Now she's catching me off guard, too. And we don't know where it came from, right? It showed up on my phone without any input from me. Do you know anything about it? What? I don't fully understand, but I don't think we have to worry about people accessing our data. From what I can tell, this app is incredibly special. It wasn't made by any ordinary means. True. An app that allows you to enter another world isn't exactly commonplace. Well, Sis doesn't know who the Phantom Thieves are, so I suppose our information is safe for now. We're still learning things ourselves. I hope your sharp wit can help us with that. Thank you. I'll do my best. More importantly, we need to stop him from releasing those photos. If the public gets a hold of them... I could only imagine what would happen then. Come on, we just gotta take care of him before the time limit. We'll bounce back from this. Plus, people will really start admiring us if we can manage to take this bastard down. Yeah, this is the perfect opportunity. We have to succeed no matter what. All right. Good to hear. <sighs> I apologize. 